In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to perform internal and external redirects using the SP32 and the Async HTTP web server libraries. So, as target board, I'm going to use an ASP32 FireBeetle board from DFRobot. So, moving on to the code, uh, most of uh, what we are going to cover here we have already seen in previous tutorials, but just as a quick refresher, uh, the first thing we need to do is including the Wi Fi.h and the SyncWebServer.h libraries so we can both connect the ASP32 uh, to a Wi Fi network and set up uh, the HTTP async web server. After that, we need to declare the credentials of the Wi-Fi network so we can connect the SP32 to it. And then we'll need an object of class, a sync web server, which will be the object that we are going to use uh, to configure the routes of our server and to make it uh, listen to uh, incoming requests. Uh, as already covered as input, um, the constructor of this class receives the port where the server will be listening. We are going to use the default uh, HTTP port, uh, port, which is the AT port. So moving on to the setup function, the first thing we do uh, is uh, establishing a serial connection so we can output the results of our program. Um, and then we are going to handle the connection to the Wi-Fi network. And here at the end, after the connection has been established, we are going to print the local IP assigned to the SP32, so later we can reach it uh, from an HTTP client. So now we are going to take care of configuring our server routes. Um, and uh, again, this is very similar to what we have been covering in previous tutorials, except for the part where we are going to take care of the redirects. So, but before we are uh, we move to the, the routes that will be performing the redirects, we are going to configure uh, a very simple route for testing. Uh, I've simply called it hello, uh, which is the internal route that we are going to use uh, to test the internal redirect uh, of the client. So, as you can see here, the route um, is named hello. It uh, receives HTTP GET requests, and it returns a very simple uh, testing message that simply says hello from the SP32, just for for us to be to be able to confirm that internal redirects are indeed working. So moving on, we are going to configure another route, a second route, to perform uh, internal redirects, which means that we are going to redirect the client to a relative route in our um, server. Uh, so this is why uh, we are not going to include here um, all the, the rest, uh, in this case the, the, the IP of our uh, web server, because this is an internal redirect, so we can simply pass the relative path to where we want to redirect the client. So, but uh, in order to configure the route again, we use the on uh, method on our server object. We are going to pass as first input the route. Again, we are going to assume that this route will only answer to HTTP GET requests. And then, uh, in order to redirect, we just need to call this redirect method on our async web server uh, request uh, object. Uh, note that what we receive in our route handling function is a pointer to that object, which is why we are using here uh, this operator rather than directing uh, directly accessing to this method. But this is what we have already covered. So basically, we need to call the redirect method of our async web server. Uh, request object and pass as input a string uh, with the, the, the destination of the redirect. Since as already mentioned, in this route we are going to handle the internal redirect, this is just a relative path, which is the, the route that we have just configured, the slash hello route. Uh, in case we, uh, we want to configure an external redirect, the procedure is exactly the same. The only difference being that, in this case, we need and I'm going to redirect to, to, to my blog, so I need to put here uh, not just the path to where I want to redirect, in this case it will be the, the, uh, the home path, uh, but also the domain name, because I need, I need to, to, um, to put here the, the, whole, the whole information in order to perform a redirect to an external, uh, to an external server. So, uh, 
This is it regarding configuring the routes and how, how we use this redirect method. It's very simple. And after we, we um, configure all the ro routes, we simply need to call the begin method on our server object. So our ASP32 starts listening to incoming HTTP requests. Obviously, we and don't need to put any code here in the main loop function uh, because uh, this is an asynchronous HTTP web server solution so we don't need to be periodically pulling some kind of object in order to handle the, the client so everything is handled for us under the hood by the framework. So I've already uploaded this code to my uh, ASP32 with my network's credentials. As you can see here it already uh, passed the Wi-Fi connection step and it already printed my uh, the local IP address assigned to my SP32. So if I go here to the browser, uh, as you can see, I have already here um, the URL to access the internal redirect route. And if I click enter, as you can see here, it will make the server to the, uh, the, the request to the server and it will return uh, a found uh, 302 code uh, indicating that uh, there should be a redirect. And as you can see here, here is the location uh, to where the client should be redirected. And as you can see here, after the redirect, obviously the browser will, uh, will interpret the, the first response and will uh, redirect us to the, to the second page, to the, to the slash hello page that behaves as expected. It returns the two uh, a true 200 code, an OK code, and the message that we have configured. So the internal redirect is working OK. In this case, we are going to do the external redirect, and the behavior should be the same. So I've, I've tried to access it, and as you can see, uh, the the uh, the web server redirected uh, the browser to the destination, and the, in this case, it's an external uh, an external destination. It's it's another server, so. Um, but it works the same. And this is it, it's very simple uh, to perform this kind of uh, redirects. It could be useful for some use cases. So hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.